Hi guys, welcome to The Mindful Pet Owner. Today is the first video in a short series all focusing on bulldogs. Now, you may be asking why am I starting with bulldogs? Um, bulldogs uh, hold a very special place in my heart. Now you might be thinking you're a vet, you love bulldogs. Um, bulldogs. Absolutely I love bulldogs. Um, my entire life I've always had a passion for animals that might be too ugly for other people to appreciate. Um, but bulldogs in my opinion are absolutely beautiful. Um, I just want to squish them all the time. Um, we have two in our family. So we have an English Bulldog and, and a French Bulldog. Um, now, if you don't own a Bulldog, um, Bulldogs come with lots of different um, health conditions. Um, it is a bit of a contentious issue within the veterinary industry um, about the breeding of Bulldogs get rid of the elephant in the room straight away. I do not support the breeding of bulldogs. Uh, I don't need to go into that any further. It's just my personal opinion. Um, but I do 100% support uh, the adoption and rescuing of animals. And that's how I've come to own both an English and a French bulldog. Now, today we're going to be focusing on skin. Skin issues is one of the really common issues that you see with uh, bulldogs. Not only bulldogs though, any of your other brachycephalic breeds. So brachycephalic breeds are ones that have your squished up face, your short nose. Um, and that's both dogs and cats. So because their face is so squished up, you basically they've got all this extra skin that needs to fit in a smaller space. And so you get lots of skin folds. Um, so these skin folds can quite easily uh, get infections. So the reason behind why we get that is basically when flat skin, the air can get to it really quite easily. But if you've got skin that's folded on to each other, um, the air can't get to it. And so the skin, your body heat, um, creates this really nice, warm, humid environment, which is the perfect environment um, for the normal bacteria and yeast and things that, you know, every animal and human will have a certain amount on their skin living there, not causing a problem. But once you get a certain type of environment, it promotes the growth of these organisms. When you get too many of those organisms, that's where we start to get um, infections, we get inflammation. So what I want to focus on today is how to, how you should be doing a routine check on your brachycephalic breeds to check those problem areas, how to identify um, normal skin um, as opposed to inflamed skin, and how's the best way to, to clean those and manage those. Now, this video is not to replace you going and, and seeing your vet. Obviously, I am a vet um, and I can go over general topics, um, but none of this should be, um, is not, none of this information is specific to your pet. Oh, hi, Daphne. <laughs> Daphne, everybody. Um, so none of this is specific to your pet. So if you have any concerns, um, you do really need to speak to your vet so they can have a look at your individual dog and make sure that these recommendations are appropriate for your pet. Now Betty was the first furry member of our family. We rescued her when she was about six months old. Um, and these photos are literally from the first day that we met her. As you can see, she had multiple health conditions going on at the same time. The most noticeable of those uh, was her skin. Um, she was also really emaciated. She had not been socialized. Um, she was just a very, very sad little girl. So the journey from her skin then to her skin now took around about six months. Um, quite intensive treatment before we could start just a routine skin maintenance uh, protocol for her. Um, but as you'll see here, her routine skin checks now take all of 20 to 30 seconds. Um, they're not much of an inconvenience to her life. Um, she puts up with it very well.
So let's go through this in a little bit more detail. One of the most common sites for skin conditions and infections in Bulldogs are the nose folds. So you need to be able to open that really well. So the best way to do that is to get your fingers underneath the skin and gently pull it up towards the eyes. They can be quite deep, so you need to pay attention and make sure you're getting right down to where the skin joins. Now, it might be a little bit difficult to appreciate, but Betty's fold on her left side is a little bit deeper than her right, so that is always the troublesome side that we have, which always requires more cleaning. So there's a few different ways to clean these areas. Our preferred method is cleansing wipes uh, because they mold to your finger really easily. Um, there's me no mess, no fuss, no real risk of getting into their eyes either. And it means that you can really get into those deep areas within the fold. Now with these wipes, you want to wipe over the area and change the area of the wipe that you're using and repeat this wiping action until it comes out clean. So once you've got the area all nice and clean, the next important step is to get a bit of tissue, toilet paper, kitchen towel and dry the area really thoroughly. If you leave any kind of moisture in there, it can promote further yeast and bacterial growth. After the nose fold, I always check her tear stain areas. Now, she doesn't have any inflammation or infection in these areas, just a little bit of permanent fur loss as well as tear staining uh, from the tears themselves, which is pretty normal. Now, she also has a little fold uh, in her lower lip on each side. Again, just has a little bit of staining from the saliva. I'm going to do a separate video all dedicated to ears so I'm not going to go into any detail here other than I do check them each time. Now feet in Bulldogs are an extremely troublesome area. Um, not only can they get into digital infections which basically means in between the digits, in between the toes, um, but they're also quite commonly get into digital cysts as well. So it's a really important area to check um, for not only inflammation and infection but also swellings. Well, that's it for today's video. If you found it helpful, or even if you just think Betty and Daphne are super cute, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any comments or any ideas for future videos, just leave a comment below and make sure to head over to all of our social medias to, to give us a follow. All the details will be in the description box down below. Bye. doesn't give a shit. I think it's a vacuum. Betty. It's a vacuum. Oi. You don't want people to see your face? Hmm? You don't want them to see your beautiful face? No. 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 Ready? Take your face seriously. No, I don't. The next thing to cover is probably the book, probably. Hi, guys, welcome to the. Oh, you like that? You like that noise?